What is up, guys? Chu here, bringing you the season finale review of Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Senpai. And God, does this make me so sad to say this. I've fallen in love with this series. Like, I love it. Like, I'm going to actually go and read the manga because this, this to me was the best anime of winter 2018 or the fall, whatever you want to call it. It was the best anime of the season. I mean, we we saw this character, Sakta, go be, be like this awesome, bigger, older brother figure. And now, or just in general, great person. Like this person who always kept his cool, always had something to think, and always something like a plan and action of some sort. But it all got real and it got too much. And you can't help it sometimes. And we saw a side of a character that is very real. And it could be anyone in any situation where sometimes stress gets the better of us. And this man had that. Like he had that breaking point to where he had to leave the hospital because he couldn't accept the fact that his sister's memories were back. And that the person that she was for two years is no more that cute little sister is now well she's grown like she had normally done and that time of her life has just gone completely blurred and and it was even tougher because his significant other wasn't there for the, for him and not because she didn't want to but it was because of work and honestly that's sometimes how life is you know you have to be going through things that alone because you don't have that other person and i gotta say that this shoko character is one of the weirdest and shadiest characters ever she does she's not ill will like she doesn't she's not evil she's just weird like this whole scenario of this character throughout the whole season has left so many questions for me like who is she and what is she and what in the world are you what's your purpose in all of this and i i've i've never really questioned that from any character except for her uh I, and it puzzles me it truly puzzles me that this character came out of the blue while he ran out of the hospital and he and she found him and kind of basically nursed him and uh, just kind of was there the whole time and read from the book that Kaide had written in her diary and like uh, it, no one gave her permission to even like go through her stuff like that's one thing too like that was something that I was thinking something is off like there, it's just like who is this person like just reading out some of the most intimate thoughts that a person had to the other person who is already destroyed and is completely vulnerable and he was just crying his eyes out like he he couldn't accept what Kaede had written and applause for Kaede honestly she she wrote down everything that she did for out throughout that time and she even realized and we saw that in the last couple of episodes that she even thought that her time was running out that things were starting to be okay and so in her mind somewhere somewhere or another it was okay to go back to the way it was of course it sacrificed the memories that you had and we saw like the flashbacks of moments where kaide was truly enjoying the life she had as a shut-in you know, being always dependent of her brother of course she form formulated goals because the time was coming to its end and sakta really had a tough time accepting all of that uh, that, that she was no longer that person that she was gonna become the old way and i'd like to see how she was a little bit before all of this happened just to kind of really get an understanding of who kind of was i'm wondering if she was like some kind of like bitchy little sister because i mean you really don't know we only got this whole sweet side of her and so we don't know how she was before and it was really surprising when in the next morning after all his events happen, Shoko goes up and leaves and no trace of her is left behind. And we have Mai coming to visit. And this is where things 
really goes south. Like she comes and visits him. She has all the intentions. She was worried about him through the phone call they had. And she made it her way from where she was at to go see him. And it does have a really bad scenario look in there when she had a note. There was a note from Shoko. And it was just hard. It was really hard to see because it's like... You didn't call her, but she couldn't come regardless. And she feels guilty for not cheering you up. But at the same time, she's kind of upset because another person was there. And it's, I get it because it's really frustrating because it's like no, there was no bad thoughts, no bad intentions going on there. And I honestly thought that, that it was going to end that way. Like she was going to be through with him. Uh, and it just, it just gave off that vibe. It really did. And what really makes it sad where when she runs out or leaves, because she was planning on staying the night and it it could have led to other things like she could have cheered him up physically and uh you know that's sometimes and i'm we're adults here that's sometimes a way of you know kind of grieving like a, a form of relief so not saying that that could have been the situation but you know it it, it could have been something that may have been on her mind but of course with that it really ruins the mood and her feeling guilty she goes back and says that i'm not dating you for he to hear those words which destroyed sakta and it destroyed me because i was like no you guys are like one of my favorite couples right now and you guys cannot be doing that you guys work so well together and we have nadoka actually showing up to his job where he was doing bad and telling her that today is her birthday and it was funny to me was it she pulls up a wikipedia page to like hey you didn't know it's like it's right here <laughs> and i thought that was perfect really funny and she well excuse me he makes his way towards uh my uh they are able, she's he's able to find her and they kind of have their moment and I want to say that it was perfect because she was kind of in the coat, you know, you know, surprise, surprise. And he's just there like, I don't have enough money to make it my way back. But they kind of enjoy a moment together, uh, of course, and, that's, and the same jacket that she was wearing. And it, I thought they were, she was going to kiss him. Like, that's something I wanted to see throughout all season. But, of course, she doesn't. She pinches his cheeks and says, this is the best reward I can give you. And that's just like a throwback from episode three and i thought that was funny but we kind of have like the ending credit scenes showing everyone uh moving on and you know with Ko kuga uh futaba and all of them just kind of enjoying themselves um uh, kaide re-establishing everything in her mind and reading the notes and everything but it ends well and then we kind of have shoko at the very end like what the hell so I've heard that, and this is a friend of mine that commented last week on the, my video saying that there's going to be a movie uh, revealing the truth between Sangta and Shoko. And I cannot wait. If that movie comes out, I'm going to review it. I don't know when it will be out, but I'm definitely going to be looking into that. And I will be reading the manga. And I honestly hope that we have enough material and enough support to have a season two because this is a great anime. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And I hate that it's ended. I mean, it's just a great dynamic between these two and the other characters. It's not even a harem. It's just one of those where you help out other people, and it just felt too real for me. But personally, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys have too. I hate saying goodbye, but I'll be ready for the movie or if season two comes out. But let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Be safe, guys, and I will catch you later. I'm a buff baby, but I dance like a man. Like a man. She a nice lady, and she shaking the yams. Uh, spent the whole summer trapping out the sedan. The sedan. Marching with the bands, cause I think that I care. Uh.